Hi, this is Manmad. Welcome back to Manmad Krishna Food Tech channel. In this video, we are going to discussing about monitoring of critical control points as a principal number four. In this video, we will discuss a four elements on monitoring of critical control points. The first element is definition of monitoring and the second element is the purpose of monitoring and third element is design a system to monitor then the fourth element is equipment used to monitor the critical control points now those who have not watched my previous videos as a principle one as a principle two as a principle three i have given link below please watch and now let us start the video monitoring involves the selection of appropriate measurements or observations at a specified frequency to ensure that critical control points are being met. Now the element one, definition of monitoring. Definition of monitoring is nothing but it's a planned sequence of observations or measurement to assess the critical control points are under control or not and to produce an accurate record to demonstrate the critical control points have been met so that's the definition of monitoring it is important to note that monitoring procedures are specific depends upon the critical limits so sometimes observation is required to ensure whether the critical control points are under control or not sometimes measurements are required to ensure whether critical control points are under control or not now the second element is purpose of monitoring the main purpose of monitoring is to ensure that the critical limit is met to provide a documentation the critical limit have been met or to identify when there is a loss of control a deviation occurs from a critical limit also will help us the monitoring system now the third element is designing a monitoring system yes monitoring system comprises the four questions what to be monitored how the monitoring will be performed then what is the frequency of monitoring and the fourth one is who will be monitored the four questions will determine that the critical limits at ccps are under control monitoring may involve measuring a characteristic of product or process to assess whether the critical control points are met or not monitoring so what will be monitored yes so monitoring in two ways examples of monitoring through measurements and examples of monitoring through observation for cooked frozen shrimps or for cooked products measuring of belt speed and measuring of core temperature of the product so that is also the best example of monitoring measurements and examples for monitoring of observations for example if you receive aquaculture shrimps so what is the monitoring control at terminal receiving stage yes they are monitoring through the observation visually we have to verify if the product or the supplier declaration a critical limit no in raw material receiving for aquaculture shrimps the critical limit is supplier declaration regarding non usage of prohibited drugs or supplier declaration regarding the product has not been treated with sulfiting agents so that is the critical limit so there are two ways of monitoring one is through measurements by checking the temperatures or by measuring the line speed in cooking line that is the monitoring through the measurements and monitoring through the observation by verifying the documents or supplier declarations so how will be monitored if it is a quantitative critical limit then we can monitor through the instruments digital thermometers 
if it is a qualitative critical limit then we can monitor through visual what is quantitative critical limit and qualitative critical limit yes quantitative means the critical limits so we have to establish for example the the shrimps to be cooked at plus 72 degrees centigrade are above with a holding time of 60 seconds that is quantitative critical limit and examples of qualitative critical limits are at receiving stage the supplier declaration regarding non is a prohibited drugs that is the qualitative critical limits or if, if you are receiving the histamine producing the fish then upon receipt the product should be properly iced that is also the qualitative critical limits so qualitative critical limits can be monitored through visually and quantitative critical limits can be monitored through instruments digital thermometers or line uh, gauges like that we have to monitor how will be monitoring be performed then what is the frequency of monitoring let us have a look what is the frequency of monitoring how to determine the frequency of monitoring at a critical control point monitoring frequency will depends upon critical limits and the types of observations or measurements are needed then the frequency of monitoring of critical limits the frequency might be either at regular intervals or continuous monitoring regular intervals means nothing but non continuous monitoring and continuous monitoring so let us have a look what is non continuous monitoring at critical control points and what is continuous monitoring at critical control points non continuous monitoring it is necessary to establish intervals for measuring the non continuous monitoring so how to establish the frequency for non continuous monitoring in this video we will take an example of cooked frozen shrimps the steam temperature for example if the steam temperature is 96 degrees centigrade is the required steam temperature but whereas frequently the steam temperature is fluctuating from 96 degree centigrade to 84 degree centigrade for example and the belt speed line speed you are maintaining consistently so what you have to do is you have to establish the frequency it depends upon the values which you are getting at the end product core temperature end point core temperature our core temperature is 72 degree centigrade at end point so frequently you have to check it you have to check the core temperature for example you are getting 72.4 72.6 72.8 like that then you have to determine the frequency more maybe every five minutes you have to check or like that if the temperature is 73 74 or in between the range consistence 73.8 or 74.6 or like that in between far away from the critical limits i mean the temperatures of the core product are end product temperatures end product core temperature not deviating the operating limits then you can maintain the frequency levels at that critical control points so that is the best example of non-continuous monitoring every 15 minutes or 10 minutes you have to establish based on the fast data also you have to take it into consideration that's one example and the second example of non-continuous monitoring for example at raw metal receiving stage sulfate residues is the ccp because of sulfate is allergic you all know the critical limit is no detectable sulfates or absence of sulfating agents what you have to do is every lot at receipt by using the rapid method you can check the strip method sulfate is present or not or supplier declaration you can check along with the material the raw material should accompany the supplier declaration stating that the product after harvest has not been treated by the sulfiting agent this is also the best example of non-continuous monitoring and now what is the continuous monitoring so continuous monitoring means when possible 
continuous monitoring procedure should be used continuous monitoring should be done always by using instruments or equipments monitoring equipments so for example is data loggers continuous monitoring data loggers so monitoring the data of cooker temperature or cooking steam temperature so that is the continuous monitoring or metal detection that is also the continuous monitoring these are the some of the examples of continuous monitoring records needs to be checked for the continuous monitoring because of the critical limits are being met or the ccps are under control or not we have to check the continuous monitoring data depends upon the risk assessment also we can establish the frequency of checking of continuous monitoring data then who will be monitor yes the person who is monitoring the critical control points he should have properly trained the asap systems he should have awareness about the critical control points or critical limits so he should have the fundamental knowledge on these things a person should fully understand the importance of ccp monitoring and have a ready access to the monitoring activity and should report the management or concerned people whenever deviation occurs from a critical limits you should immediately respond to the concerned people so these are the qualities especially the examples of the ccp monitoring persons might be the qa personals or line operators or technicians who the persons who are engaging with the system engaging with the process at that particular point we have to train them and we have to make them efficient to handle the situations intimate in a timely manner the ccps are under control then the fourth element is so selection of equipments for the ccp monitoring what are those yes ccp monitoring equipments for example rapid test methods like sulfide kits or metal detection instruments or digital thermometers are data loggers these are the few examples of equipments which are used to monitor the critical control points and these equipments also we have to calibrate as and when requires or depends upon the manufacturer instructions also we have to establish the frequency or our internal risk assessment we have to establish the frequency for example digital thermometer in high risk areas so end product core temperature no frequently you are checking end product core temperature so unlike other low risk areas you are calibrating the thermometers annually or semi annually in case of high risk areas rt foods producing section digital thermometers must be calibrated by third party once in a quarter or once in a 6 months like that you have to determine the frequency of the equipments which are used in monitoring of critical control points that's all about the video friends if you like the content or context of the video just give the like symbol and subscribe my channel for regular updates those who have not watched my previous videos i given the link below please watch and stay tuned thank you and bye bye